Where in the world is Melania Trump? Unveiling the mystery behind her absence from Trump's 2024 campaign. Melania Trump, who once commanded the political spotlight, has left the public and political pundits puzzled by her sudden disappearance from public view. Her notably absence from her husband's initial 2024, election rallies has sparked questions and piqued curiosity. Starting from November 2022, Melania chose to stay away from accompanying her husband, former President Donald Trump, at political gatherings. This intriguing absence began when the fiery Republican officially launched his 2024 presidential campaign from the luxurious Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida. To the astonishment of many, Melania was conspicuously missing on this significant occasion, and this absence has continued. This video will unveil the reasons behind Melania Trump's abrupt retreat from the public and political arena. Join us as we delve into the mysteries surrounding her absence and attempt to understand why Melania Trump is no longer a prominent figure in the political landscape. Before we unravel this enigma, let's first take a look at her journey to becoming the former First Lady of the United States. Melania Trump, the former First Lady of the United States, hails from a background that distinguishes her from her predecessors. Her upbringing in Slovenia under the care of her parents, Amalia and Viktor Knavs, shaped her unique journey. Her father played a significant role in the state-owned vehicle factory, overseeing both the automobile and motorcycle divisions. Meanwhile, her mother specialized as a pattern maker at a children's clothing manufacturing company. It's worth noting that Melania's father was born in Raqqa, while her mother's roots can be traced back to Radovleka. Some amazing facts about Melania Trump's broad family and professional backgrounds that led to her remarkable path to the White House. Family matters. Within Melania Trump's life, family plays a central role. Her close-knit family unit includes her sister Inies and an older half-brother from her father's previous relationship. Ines, in particular, holds a unique place in Melania's heart. An artist by profession, Ines adds a creative and cherished dimension to their sisterly bond. In a momentous occasion, Ines stood by Melania's side as her maid of honor during her wedding to Donald Trump. This special role signifies the depth of their connection and the pivotal place family holds in Melania's life. Melania's unwavering devotion extends not only to her immediate family, but also to her career and business pursuits. Hometown Memories Melania Trump's early life was marked by a simple upbringing long before she became widely known as the First Lady. She grew up in a concrete building in the picturesque village of Sevnica, nestled in the stunning Lower Sava Valley of Slovenia. This charming place is defined by rolling hills that grace the landscape with their natural beauty. To the right of the meandering Sava River, you'll find the striking peak of Kum, while the imposing Black Peak adds an air of grandeur to the surroundings. Sevnica's history is closely tied to the operation of coal mines in the central Sava Valley, and it's this historical backdrop that frames Melania's modest beginnings. Modeling Career With her statuesque height of 5 feet 11 inches, Melania Trump seemed destined for a career in modeling. After making the move to New York, she found herself sharing an apartment with photographer Matthew Atanian, which allowed her to fully immerse herself in the world of fashion and photography. Her striking beauty and innate elegance quickly caught the eye of renowned magazines like Vanity Fair, Vogue, and the coveted Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Collaborating with these prestigious publications not only solidified her presence in the industry, but also provided her with the perfect platform to showcase her versatility and the captivating charm that made her so alluring to viewers. Aflac Commercial Back in 2005, Melania Trump made a memorable appearance in a commercial for Aflac Insurance alongside the Aflac mascot, a lovable duck. At that time, the duck was voiced by the comedian Gilbert Gottfried. In this quirky advertisement, Melania and the duck swapped personalities through a somewhat zany experiment 
reminiscent of something out of Frankenstein's lab. Towards the end of the commercial, Melania awakens and exclaims a flack in Gottfried's distinctive voice. Melania delivered her performance with finesse, and it was during this time that she and Donald Trump were newlyweds. Melania expressed her excitement about her acting debut in the Aflac commercial, saying, I'm very excited to make my acting debut in the latest Aflac commercial, as reported by Adweek. If Donald Trump is renowned for his you're fired catchphrase, perhaps Melania playfully suggested that she might become known for her Aflac exclamation, meeting Donald Trump. In 1996, Melania Trump embarked on a new chapter in her life by relocating to the bustling city of New York. It was in September 1998, during a glamorous Fashion Week soiree, that fate played its hand and brought her face to face with her future husband, Donald Trump. The event was hosted by Halazumpoli and took place at the iconic Kit Kat Club in Times Square. At the time, Donald Trump was still legally married to Marla Maples, even though they had been living separately since May 1997. He attended the party with another date, Selena Middlefart. During a brief moment when Selena stepped away, Donald seized the opportunity to approach Melania with the intent of obtaining her phone number. However, Melania, displaying her independence, initially declined his advances. Little did they know that this initial encounter would set the stage for the beginning of their love story. Tedding. After a long and romantic courtship, Melania and Donald Trump took their relationship to the next level, becoming engaged in 2004. Their commitment to each other was solidified on January 22, 2005, with a splendid wedding ceremony held at the Episcopal Church of Bethesda by the sea in Palm Beach, Florida. The choice of venue added an air of elegance and history to their special day. As it had previously hosted the wedding of basketball legend Michael Jordan and his wife in 2013, Following the beautiful ceremony, the newlyweds warmly welcomed their guests to the grand ballroom of Donald's Mar-a-Lago estate, which had been meticulously restored for this momentous occasion. The 35 million grand hall was adorned with glistening crystal chandeliers and opulent Versailles-inspired Louis XVI decor, setting the stage for the couple's joyous celebration. Speak easy. One aspect that set Melania apart from her predecessors as the First Lady was that English was not her native language. In fact, she made history as the first First Lady whose primary language wasn't English. While some might assume that Melania's linguistic background would pose a challenge in her role at the White House, rumors swirled about her infrequent public remarks, often attributed to her distinctive accent. However, Melania didn't let these challenges deter her. Throughout her time as First Lady, she astutely showcased her language skills in a variety of ways, particularly during diplomatic engagements and conversations with foreign leaders. Her ability to gracefully navigate linguistic barriers demonstrated her composure and finesse. Her multilingualism proved to be an asset, enriching her role and shedding light on the diversity within the tapestry of American culture. Melania's fluency in several languages, including her native Slovenian, as well as English, French, Italian, and German, allowed her to connect with individuals from a wide array of backgrounds. Her multilingualism not only made her a more relatable and empathetic figure on the global stage, but also emphasized the cultural richness of the United States, a nation built on the contributions of immigrants from all corners of the world. Separate bedrooms. While the public image of the Trumps projected unity and grandeur, behind closed doors, their interpersonal dynamics appeared to have a rather unconventional twist, according to White House staff and close associates. The rumors and reports suggested that the couple, in fact, didn't spend as much time together as one might expect, and even went so far as to maintain separate sleeping arrangements. This peculiar setup might seem surprising, but it's essential to consider the challenges posed by their busy schedules and demanding responsibilities. Navigating the complex world of politics and business, the Trumps often found themselves pulled in different directions. 
Melania's role as the First Lady and her various initiatives, coupled with Donald's demanding position as the President, left them with little personal time. While it might seem unconventional to some, for them, this arrangement seemed to work. Donald Trump, who had previously experienced two marriages, reportedly appreciated Melania's low-maintenance approach in contrast to the complexities of his past relationships. Melania, for her part, openly referred to herself as a non-nagging wife, showcasing her willingness to adapt to their unique situation. In fact, during a CNN interview, Trump proudly declared that they had never engaged in arguments. He spoke highly of their natural chemistry and the stress-free nature of their relationship, keeping quiet. While many previous first ladies have thrived in the spotlight, Melania Trump chose a different path. Her presence at the White House stood out due to her serene demeanor and soft-spoken nature. Those who know her well often describe her as a homebody who values the privacy and tranquility of her own residence over the hustle and bustle of social events. Unlike her predecessors, Melanie frequently made the choice to depart from gatherings early, opting for the comforts of a quiet evening at home. In contrast to the typical public figures, politicians, and celebrities who constantly find themselves in the glare of the spotlight, Melania found solace in a more secluded and contemplative way of life. Her preference for quietude and her deliberate avoidance of the social whirlwind underscored her desire for a simpler, more introspective existence as the first lady. First date. The spark that ignited Melania and Donald's love story happened at a lively Fashion Week party in New York City back in 1998. According to an article in The New Yorker, it all began with a simple question from Donald. Can I have your number? Known for his knack for seizing opportunities, Donald was immediately smitten with Melania and was eager to connect with her. Melania, however, displayed her own brand of grace and tact. She knew that Donald would be attending the event on another day, so instead of sharing her own number, she kindly declined, but took Donald's number instead. This charming exchange marked the beginning of a relationship that would eventually lead to their marriage, launching them into the captivating world of politics and a remarkable journey in the public eye. Cover Girl Melania Trump a truly mesmerizing personality with remarkable beauty, has graced the pages of numerous prestigious publications throughout her illustrious modeling career. Working with renowned photographers who expertly captured her beauty and charm, Melania showcased her adaptability and composure in high-fashion editorials and glossy covers. From the lens of Patrick de Marchier to the craftsmanship of Helmut Newton and the vision of Mario Testino, Melania's photogenic talents shone through. Her ability to engage people and leave a lasting impact was evident in every photograph. Melania's captivating attractiveness and her talent for striking a memorable pose undoubtedly played a significant role in her rise to fame as a fashion icon and celebrated personality. Her presence on magazine covers served as a testament to her enduring allure and the impact she had in the world of fashion and beauty the real reason. Back in 2018, Melania Trump created quite a stir on social media when she vanished from the public eye for several weeks. Speculations ran rampant, with rumors suggesting that she might no longer be residing in the White House, had undergone cosmetic surgery, or had permanently separated from her husband, Donald Trump. As it turned out, none of these speculations held any truth. The actual reason for her absence was a medical issue that required treatment, and Melania chose to keep it private. The White House's somewhat vague responses to inquiries only fueled the speculation regarding her whereabouts. It wasn't until May 10, 2018, that Melania reappeared at Andrews Air Force Base while welcoming recently released American prisoners. Subsequently, The Guardian reported that the White House issued a statement four days later, revealing that the First Lady had undergone embolization surgery to address a benign kidney condition. Nevertheless, the extended period during which she remained out of the public eye had led some to question the veracity of the explanation. Tell All Book Melania Trump then emerged from a period of relative silence, breaking her quietude with a statement. 
I'm here at the White House with my family, feeling great and working hard on behalf of children and the American people. Her reemergence coincided with the release of Melania and Me, a book penned by her former best friend, Stephanie Winston Wolkoff. This book finally sheds light on the mystery surrounding Melania's unexplained absence from public view in the autumn of 2020. Despite their friendship having soured by the time of the book's publication, Melania and Wolkoff had been in communication during the period of Melania's disappearance in 2018. In Melania and Me, Wolkoff recounted a conversation she had with Melania about the speculations regarding her health, which reportedly amused the former first lady. Melania quipped, Is that a facelift? I'm too scared. She also shared her response to the question of whether she was experiencing a nervous breakdown, saying, Seriously? I'm thinking they don't even know who I am, as reported by the New York Times. In addition, Melania revealed that another acquaintance had warned her, You give people nervous breakdowns. You don't have your own. Despite her dismissive attitude and some odd White House remarks made by Donald Trump, Melania's book unveiled a more human side to her, addressing the speculations surrounding her absence and her perspective on those events. Trump's Explanation Ever since Donald Trump announced his intention to run for the presidency in 2024, his wife, Melania, has been notably absent from most of his political events. While this absence might not directly influence voters' preferences, it has become a focal point for Trump's GOP rivals, who are often hesitant to criticize him on issues like his MAGA policies or his legal challenges. In an effort to draw attention to Melania's absence, someone recently attempted to embarrass Trump by flying a Where's Melania? banner over an Iowa football game and distributing missing posters featuring the former first lady. Trump hinted on Truth Social that he suspected Ron DeSantis was involved, but the responsible party remains unclear. Initially ignoring these pranks, Trump couldn't avoid questions about his wife's whereabouts for long. In two recent interviews, he addressed Melania's absence and shared his perspective on their relationship. Trump defended Melania's characteristic, I really don't care, do you, attitude, even though it sometimes leaves people with the impression that she might not hold a deep affection for him. During an interview on the Megyn Kelly Show podcast, when asked about Melania's recent low profile, Trump described her as very strong and very even-keeled, praising her as a very good woman. He also took the opportunity to remind listeners that she was a very popular first lady among his supporters and mentioned her appearance on the cover of Vogue, though this detail was not entirely accurate. Trump expressed his belief that Melania didn't let media criticism affect her, even when it came to her controversial Christmas decor. He described her as an introspective and self-confident individual who didn't require the constant limelight or positive media attention to validate her worth. In another interview with Meet the Press moderator Kristen Welker, Trump shared that Melania was currently with their son Barron at school and indicated that she would join him on the campaign trail. While the specifics of Melania's role in future political endeavors remain uncertain, her absence has certainly generated discussions about her stance on the media and her preference for privacy over public scrutiny. As for the timing of Melania's return to the political spotlight, when asked about it by Kristen Welker, Trump provided a somewhat cautious response. He mentioned, M, soon? Yeah, pretty soon, but also emphasized the importance of appropriateness. He described Melania as a private and confident person who deeply loves the country. Trump suggested that when the right moment arises, she'll become more visible in the political arena. However, as the conversation continued, Trump appeared to reconsider his initial response, recognizing that soon might be too specific in the context of Melania's preferences. He candidly admitted, Honestly, I like to keep her away from it pointing out the harsh and often unkind nature of politics. He expressed his desire to shield Melania from the less savory aspects of public life. In essence, Melania's absence from the political scene isn't due to any aversion to her husband, 
but rather stems from a desire to avoid the less pleasant aspects of public scrutiny. So, if we're eager to see more of Melania, perhaps a more compassionate perspective on her controversial holiday decor or a kinder approach in general might be the key to her eventual return.